A North St. Louis County woman is out thousands of dollars and was forced to quit her job after a falling tree crushed the family's two cars. To make matters worse, the tree sits on St. Louis County property, but the county says it is not responsible for damages. First Alert Forest Caroline Hecker has the family story and explains why the county says it's not liable. <laughs> Kimberly Young has a lot to smile about. Her one-year-old daughter just started walking, and her three-year-old son, who is disabled, is receiving the best medical care. But for the last four months, there hasn't been much to smile about. We heard this big bang, and then all the lights went out. On a sunny day in June, the family's two cars were crushed under a large tree that had fallen nearby. It had basically taken out the whole entire windshield. The rearview mirror left hanging. The frame of the car bent. Her mom's car... It took out the whole back end of this car. ...didn't fare any better. She called her landlord, Amy Michael, who had the tree removed within hours. I called my insurance. I said, you call yours, I'll call mine. Let's Surely somebody will be responsible and take care of it. Michael's insurance company surveyed the property, determining the tree was on St. Louis County property. She says because of that, her homeowner's claim was denied. So was Young's renter's car and gap insurance claim. I was at work and I was just walking around in tears. But the biggest blow came when Young went to St. Louis County. Her claim denied once again. She learned the county is protected under Missouri's sovereign immunity laws. Because we didn't see or complain about the tree about to fall, that it was not their liability, which that tree looked like just the rest of the trees. It looked fine. There was nothing that could show us that it was about to fall. Without a car, she was forced to quit her job. Her son missed important doctor's appointments. In an attempt to save her credit, she continued to make payments on her now totaled car that she says will ultimately be repossessed. County could have done a lot. County is responsible. It is their tree. There's a bunch of trees through here, and I'll bet you there's other ones that need attention. But late last week, a glimmer of hope. A phone call from Johnny Londoff Autoplex delivered the good news. An anonymous donor gifted the Young family a new car. Under With plenty of room for car seats oh, yeah, and a trunk his, big enough uh, for her son's changes. wheelchair, things are finally looking up. All the help I've gotten from everybody has just been a big blessing. In North St. Louis County, Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4. And Kim Young says she has leaned heavily on family over the last five months to try to make ends meet. She is still getting back on her feet and now has a new job. Her landlord, Amy, set up a GoFundMe to help her rebuild her savings. That information can be found inside this story on our website, KMLB.com.